Hello, patrons. This is Elda Keaton from the Grand Ledge Area District Library. And today I wanted to tell you about some of the new historical fiction that we have on our shelves. And if you want to find this when you come into the library, when you walk in the door, turn to the left, and then it's just in front of our director's um, office. So the first book I was going to tell you about is We Are All Good People Here. And at my age, thinking that the 1960s is historical is a little hard, but yes, <laughs> this is considered historical fiction, and it's about two women, uh, one from the South and one from the East, who are uh, roommates at a private college, and they both are concerned about social issues, and it follows them on different paths as they deal with those issues. Uh, I really enjoyed the book a lot. It go, takes them up through the 1980s and how they've settled as adults. And I will just warn you, if, if you're uneasy with some more graphic ideas about what was happening with the weather underground and some of the violence and sex that was going on there, this might not be the book for you, but it's not real graphic and it's really a great read for seeing how different people deal with social issues in those, that era. Now, the other two books that I've read, uh, the one is by Jojo Mays, and it is The Giver of Stars. And it follows a woman who is uh, actually British and marries a man from Kentucky and comes to the United States. And it looks at what happens when she joins a WPA program, the Pack Horse Librarians. This was set up from 1935 to 1943 by Eleanor Roosevelt, and it was designed to bring literature to people in the mountains who weren't able to get to that on their own. There is a, a lot of information not only about the Pack Horse Librarians in this, but also the effects of the mines in that area and the mine owners and the conflicts that happened as they tried to unionize. Hard to put down this book. Interestingly, published the same year, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek um, is also about a pack horse librarian. And she is actually from the hills of Kentucky. She is uh, the daughter of a, of a man whose wife has died. And she is very interested in doing this. He's not so certain. And this book shows you more of the conflicts and the prejudices because she is one of the blue people of Kentucky. And you can read about them and the Pack Horse Librarians. There's a section in the back where the author tells about this in more detail. I thought it was just to show the different racist issues, but there really were people whose skin was blue. And I think you'll find that interesting, as well as the storyline, which is very gripping. And be sure, if you're looking for it, by the title in our catalog, book and woman are two different words. I didn't realize that. I was having a hard time finding it after I read it, but that is how you'll find it. So I hope that you'll come in and check out these books and other books that we have that are equally interesting. Um, if you're not sure where, you're where the new books are, there's a label that says 14 days, and that tells you that it's a new book. So I hope you'll come in and enjoy these books. They were awesome reads. Thank you.